Hello everyone, Ken here, back with a new video for you. During the data science interview process, in each of your individual interviews, you'll get the opportunity to ask questions of the person who's across the table from you. Now, a lot of people overlook this, but I think this is one of the most important parts of this whole process in general. Data science is about asking great questions and this is your opportunity to showcase that skill. This is also your opportunity to actually determine if this company is a good fit for you. You get to flip the script and you get to interview them, which can also be kind of fun. In my opinion, great jobs have four main characteristics. The first is that they give you some level of autonomy. They let you work on your own, let you solve projects in your own way. The second is that they give you challenges that are the correct level of difficulty for you. These challenges should be hard, any of the problems you're working on should be difficult, but they should be solvable by you in the long run. Third, they should give you opportunities for growth. You should be able to understand how to develop your skills. They send you to uh, seminars, they, they give you uh, mentorship opportunities, etc. Finally, this job should have a clear path forward for you. So if you're working as and coming in as a junior data scientist, you should know what you have to do to get to a data scientist role, then a senior data scientist, and then they should have some clear path beyond that based on if you wanna be an individual contributor or if you wanna be a team manager. You can learn if an organization has, or a job has these characteristics based on the questions you ask during this portion of the interview. What you ask really depends also on who's interviewing you. If you're being interviewed by a data scientist who'd be your peer, the questions are very different from if you are being interviewed by a manager of the data science team or an HR manager. So in general, data scientists, I think it's more important to ask about the nature of the work in general. Hiring managers, you want to talk a little bit about questions related to advancement throughout the company or on the job training. And HR managers, you really want to talk about the culture of the organization and how you might fit into that. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos at the intersection of data science and sports analytics, please consider subscribing to my channel. So if you're drawing a blank at this phase of the process, the following 10 or so questions are ones that I like to ask. They show that as a data scientist, you can ask good questions. And they also help you learn about those kind of four pillars of job satisfaction that I'd mentioned above. You don't have to ask all these questions. You really don't have to ask any of them if you don't want to, but I think that they're a good starting point that you can build off of. Now, if you wanna see the number one question that I personally like to ask in interviews, please stick to the end of the video. So starting off, I would recommend asking about current events that impact the specific team at the company or the company in general. Now, an example of this would be if I was applying to a baseball team and in the off season, they made a trade for a couple different players. I could ask how they went about making that trade decision, if they thought they got a, a good deal on the players and the analytics that went into that. To me, that shows that you're paying attention to what the company is doing. And it also shows that you're interested in how beneficial the outcomes were of that scenario. Paying attention to current events, paying attention to what's going on in the news with that company is something that always as an interviewer sticks out in my mind because it shows that this person did their homework and that they're bringing to the table something that they learned beforehand. The second question that I would ask that's largely related to a team manager would be what project management philosophy the team actually uses. Uh, different teams, especially in data science, have very different methodologies. Some use Scrum, some use other adaptations of Agile, some don't even have a project management framework that they have. For you as a candidate, someone that's coming into this team, I think that that is very important to understand. And it also shows the manager that you're thinking already about how you would collaborate with your peers. Adding on to that, you can also ask about how data scientists or data analysts, whatever you're applying for, how they interact with other data scientists, the software engineering team, and the business stakeholders. What is the cadence? How often do they speak? How often do they work together on projects? That is something that will directly impact how you work. And it's also something that, again, lets the manager know that you're thinking about collaboration that's front and center in your mind. The next question that I like to ask is about development opportunities at the company. So, what are the opportunities to learn new skills and to get leadership experience? This touches on one of those four things that I believe 
leads to a good job experience and a fulfilling job experience. So this shows to your interviewer that you have this kind of growth mindset that learning is not going to stop once you get this job, it's going to continue on after. And you find out through this question if there is that component of the job where you can continue to learn, where you can be challenged and you can develop some new skills through this process. So the fourth question that you can ask is about the interviewer themselves. So what has been their experience with the company? What is their background? What is their skill set? And how has that made them successful at the company you're interviewing at? I think it's really important to establish a personal connection with an interviewer or with a company in general. And this is one of those leading questions that lets people talk about themselves. And I know I definitely don't, but most people really enjoy talking about themselves. You know, through this question, you can determine if some of the characteristics that made this person successful in their role would also make you successful in your role. If you have very opposite skills of them, and if you think from the sound of what they get excited about in, in their work is not very exciting or, or sounds terrible to you, that could be a red flag that this might not be a good fit company-wise. Another question that kind of fits into your personal enjoyment or fulfillment of getting this role at this company is about the company culture. So what would be expected of you? What is the day in the life like at this company? How do they view work from home? How do they uh, view vacations? You know, if they have unlimited vacation, how many people actually take that? Um, all of these questions around culture are a way for you to figure out if this is a good fit based on what you're interested in. I know personally, if I have unlimited vacation, I'm planning to take a lot of vacation. That's contra to a lot of the people out there. And if that's going to be looked on really negatively within that organization, then I might not want to work there. Changing gears a little bit, I think another really interesting thing to ask is what are the hardest or most exciting problems that the team is working on right now? That shows again that you're interested in the day-to-day -day business of the company, how they're creating value, but it also shows, especially if you're excited about challenging problems, that you could come in and try and tackle these things and you wouldn't be faced by it. Related to that, I think you should also ask about the most interesting problems that are going to come about in the next year, the next couple of years. If you were to get this job and work at this company, those would likely be the things that you would be working on and headlining. So if those questions, I mean, I'm sorry, those problems are not interesting to you and they sound like a lot of busy work or they just aren't very appealing, this might not be a great fit role-wise. Especially for data science, it's relevant to understand the tools you'd be using on the job. So you're very likely going to be either using Python or, uh, or R, but if the software engineering team uses Java or Scala or, or, you know, are working primarily with JavaScript, you're, you might have to interface with that at some point. So if you have those skills, it's great to showcase that. And if you don't have those skills and you think that that might bleed into your work, you have the opportunity to say that you're experimenting with learning it, or you can just kind of fade away at that point if that's not something that interests you at all. So going back to those four things that I believe are most important in job satisfaction, I think you should ask the question, how is my performance going to be evaluated? How is performance evaluated in general at this organization? So if you know you, you don't have a clear structure around how you're being evaluated, it's very hard to understand how you progress through an organization. If they say that they don't know, you know, everyone's evaluated on an individual basis or whatever it is, that might be a red flag to me. If that's something that you're uncomfortable with, if there are other ways that they show that they value your work, then that might be okay. But this is an important one to ask, especially if you want to understand if that area of fit would be good for you. Okay, so finally we get to my favorite interview question to ask. Now this usually comes towards the end of the interview process, especially after the person you're talking to has gotten your full background, they really understand kind of your story, the projects you worked on, etc. I like to throw in and ask, based on my background, what are some of the things that you see that you believe could make me successful in this new role? And I don't have to phrase it exactly like that, but the key premise here is you're asking them, what about yourself would make you successful here. 
And if they start talking, they say a couple basically good things about your background, they get used to talking about you in a positive way. And they're going to have to have conversations about you in the future with the other people that interviewed you. I think that that is a really nice thing. It just plants a good seed in their mind that they're already talking positive things about you. If they have nothing nice to say, then you might, or on an early note, know that this might be not be a great opportunity for you in general. You might have a slightly lower uh, probability of getting this job. It's always also important to ask about next steps in the process, but I think that that is pretty self-explanatory. I really hope that this video helps you get unstuck at this phase of the interview. I know that I sat around and had to think about a lot of questions, and it really doesn't hurt. You're allowed to write down questions. Uh, no one looks poorly upon that. It shows that you're ready, prepared for this process in general. So if you have trouble remembering them, these, feel free to write them down. So thank you so much for watching and good luck on your data science journey.